Right, with summer being here, I decided I needed a fan for the workbench area. And what I did last year was I used a fan like this one, an old PC fan, and plugged it into the wall with a wall wart. But I decided I'd uh, change things a bit this year, what with Tin Man doing his experiments and lid motor. So this one started off as an Imhotep version, and uh, that's the one that runs on the workbench at the moment. And I decided to make a few more and see what I could do, what kind of experiments. So first of all we've got this one here which I call Spiker and uh, it's being run from a 12 volt salvaged lithium ion pack. I'll just start it up and what we've got is the LED which is actually a white one and I've sharpened it blue to make it look like a blue LED and we're using 150 milliamps. Now the output of that one is going to the input of this one. We'll start this one up there we go, so that's that one going. And that one's got quite a nice uh, amount of air comes out of it. I've got a piece of uh, roll there. You can see that it kicks out quite a lot of air. So that one's pretty good as well for the workbench. The output of that one, oh by the way, we're still using 150 milliamps. The output of that one goes to the input of this one. So we'll start this one up. There we are, there's that one running. And the output of that one is shown with the LED there, which is Tin Man's trick, and it's charging that 12 volt pack there. And we're still using 150 milliamps. So, what we've got, you might be able to hear it on the camera, we've got a heck of a lot of air pouring out for the same amount of power used, and we're also sending current through to charge that battery pack. So I'll carry on in a couple of minutes and show you what else this thing can do. Okay the next part is that there's a neon across this small one here and I can get that uh, amount of neon light to change if I adjust the pot here. There we are, a bit brighter now. That's a good protection on this little circuit. Turn it up a bit, and the light goes down a bit. If I turn it all the well, quite a ways to the way it comes in really bright, but the fan will stop. So we've got to turn it a little bit, sort of like a tuning way. And do you see that purple flash? I'll show that again. So I'll stop, I'll turn it. So you see it'll stop. Leave it a few seconds, turn it around a bit. Now when I start up that should flash purple. There we go. So that must be a heck of a voltage going across that transistor, which is a high voltage transistor. And it's slowing down on its own. Let's show that quickly again. Give it a few seconds. Let it build up. And yeah, that was more of a red that time. Anyway, on to the next. Okay, now I've taken the LED off and we've got a 2 watt Lights of America bulb on the end instead of this one. I'll start it up and there we are. You can see the bulb comes on. It's about quarter brightness, I think, something like that. But um, we're now using a bit less than 150 milliamps. So there we are quite like the amount of air that gets pushed out and that it can uh, well do effects like that and also charge up the, the other 12 volt pack. Oh, I just thought I'd show this one as well. This is my smallest of these kind of circuits. Uh, I mean there's my hand for comparison and you can see the tiny little coils in there but it is a standard small motor that's been redone and um, it uses a 1k resistor. I've got a green LED across on the transistor, put the top on, there we go, I'll start it up, this one uses about 40-45 milliamps, there we are, and it actually blasts out quite a lot of air upwards, and I'll uh, show you that with this piece here, there we are, so that's blown away quite nicely indeed, I think I'm covered for air this year anyway, okay, 
Thanks for watching.